to Stars on Tap. I'm Brian. I'm Jim. And uh, today, I decided to, to break out a uh, special. Yeah, very, very special. In fact, what it says on the bottle is it is basically the holy grail for hop heads. And uh, we're going to review 120 minute IPA by Dogfish Head. This is a beer that I had on tap at Stars before. We aged that one for just shy of two years before I tapped it. And at the same time, I took on a case of it. So. This was, I was just saying to Jim, I kind of forgot when I got it, but it was bottled in December of 2011, and I got it shortly after that, so it has definitely been in stars for two years, aging in the cellar, so. We're excited. And this is, uh, this is their 120 minute IPA, which basically we were just kind of talking off cam, it's the way they brew it that makes it 120 minute, it all has to do with the boil. Yeah, the boil is, is, is through, uh, they boil it for 120 minutes and continually hop it uh, throughout the boil for Choose the 18% is obviously the ABV, and uh, so that is, this is you know, when they send it to you, they say it's 18% alcohol. They don't actually really know it's anywhere from 18 to 22% alcohol. But this being aged, probably uh, ramped up a little bit. Yeah, it's probably 20 yeah, yeah. a little north of 20 maybe. Yeah. And uh, so it's not for anybody that it's a share. Yeah, it's a share or a um, you know good luck if you drink the whole thing by yourself. Um, Dogma Shed's a brewery out of Delaware. Uh, they're famous for 60-minute IPA. They also have 90-minute IPA, and those are basically essentially the same different things, you know, except not 120 minutes. They do it for 60 minutes, and it's kind of their, their trademark is, you know, like 60 minutes is 6% alcohol, 90 minutes is 9% alcohol. They actually came up with 75-minute, which isn't as available as... You ready? We'll put it! <laughs> this is one that we, uh, we toned down pre-game before, just to... Uh, wow, look at that color. Just because we know that this is a this is a rocket ship ride right now, kids. Uh, open one up and enjoy, enjoy it. Share it. Uh, this is a, or as they say, is, sit on it. Like the yeah. bottle actually says, it can age for a decade. Oh, grab two. <laughs> yeah, age one and drink one. There you go. Let's get another try. Of this. You know, the funny thing is, that it, it's not as much alcohol off the nose as I thought. No. There's a lot of that like sweet. Candyish, malty kind of kind of nose to it. Yeah. A little peachy, like a little tropical fruit almost. For me, like my first thought is like almost like a like a little bit of a pork. Yeah. Like no. Like a whiny, like a yeah, yeah, almost. Which it's not a barley wine, but this is an IPA. Because you can get the hop character in the back, you know, you can kind of smell that, you know. But it, it is absolutely a malt nose bomb right yeah, there. It's a, kind of a tangerine, kind of a yeah, sweetness. Like real sweet, tropical yeah, smelling citrus thing going. Enough said. I'm looking Cheers. forward to this one. By the way, Wes, the GM at Stars, suggested we do this one on cam and we were both like, ah, I don't know, it's 120 minutes. It's two o'clock in the afternoon. We'll, we'll leave him that. Yeah. <laughs> I, I can't guarantee. That. Cheers, Wes. <laughs> it's insanely smooth initially, but then it just blows up on you after. Wow. That's like drinking. That's real. That's, that's a big that's boy. That's sweet. That is sweet. That is thick. I don't get a lot of hop. I no, get, I, I, get, I don't really get a lot of hop. I don't get and a lot I think of that, you know, obviously the hop characteristics go down go down the age. age. You don't get that like alcohol explosion on your tongue, but my whole body is warm now. You don't think so? Yeah. <laughs> It's my whole, but it's like it's like warm yeah. like all the way down. But I think that caramel, and I still feel like that port thing is kind of coming through. Right. That sweetness of me, like you said, a dessert wine. So that's like really that's the type of beer that we're we're tasting here. It's uh, it's not something you're gonna you're not gonna find it really too many places anyway. But when you do, but it's it's, it's a sipper. Ah, oh, it's so nice though. It's so nice, like. A beer like this should be shared. Without doubt. I agree. And because I would feel kind of selfish and I wouldn't be able to talk about it and right. enjoy it. But that's why I don't have very many friends. And, and you know, that's, 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 what, what, that's, what, that's what text messaging is for <laughs> as I'm tasting it. Uh, but this is, a, this is a great beer. What do you think about a rating? Um, I definitely will go first. I'm going I'm, I'm gonna to give on. it. Maybe one more sip. Thank you. You know what the scary thing is? We're sitting there saying it's a sipper, but yet I keep just like kind of crushing it back. <laughs> but wow. 
like that sip just blew up in my mouth. Yeah, that's. It almost gives you that right. like it's wasabi so burn off your nose, you know. Whew. It's absolutely delicious. Yeah. So my rating after that last sip, I'm gonna I'm gonna rate it at uh, I'm gonna rate it at an 85. I like it. I love it. I think it's an excellent excellent beer. Um, but it's obviously not for everyone. It's one and done type beer for me. Like you, you have it and that's it. But it's not uh, it's not one of the ones I'm gonna run out to get. But for what it is, you know, like and no one makes really a style IPA this big that I know of anyway. Right. I think it's great. Yeah. I think that it's to compare it to anything else is unfair. Not. Yeah. You know. It's unfair. Uh, I'm gonna bump it up. I'm gonna give it a 95. Wow. I just. Jeez, this thing, dude, that's the first time we've been that far. Yeah, off. I just think that this beer is like crazy. But you're ass also good. You're, you're also, can I say that on cam? You can say ass. Um, it's like for me, it's like this thing. Like, this thing is like. You're also the brewing side of this, which a lot of people don't realize. Jim brews beer, and he's actually really, really good at it. And I kind of drink beer, so that's kind of the partnership that we have formed. Yeah, here. like, like and I can understand why being a brewer, you respect this. I appreciate that's a it. It's like it's, it's like, it's like a lot of work. work and so ninety-five for me. And uh, I said eighty-five. Sorry, Dogfish. I still love you guys. <laughs> but uh, but cheers. Cheers. We're gonna finish this stars? Can before we start slurring. We'll, uh, we'll, we'll see it starts.